Hydroelectricity is a critical source of energy in Turkey and substantial amounts of it can be generated due to Turkey's mountainous landscape, abundance of rivers, and its position surrounded by three seas. The main river basins are the Euphrates Turkish, Farat, and the Tigris Turkish, Dikil, rivers. Many dams have been built throughout the country, and a peak of 28 gigawatts of power can be generated by hydroelectric plants. There are many projects currently in progress, such as the Southeastern Anatolia project, which will allow generation of 15 gigawatts through hydroelectric energy. There are many policies that support the usage of hydroelectric energy. A number of dams built are subject to controversy as they have had many negative effects on the environment and the wildlife. History The first hydroelectric plant in Turkey was constructed in Tarsus, Istanbul in 1911 and opened in 1914 as a result of the Balkan Wars. This plant only produced 60 kW, but nonetheless it alone was able to provide power to all of Istanbul for almost 40 years. Over the years, more and more hydroelectric projects were constructed, such as the Sahan Dam, the Sariar Dam, the Herfanli Dam, the Kesikopru Dam, the Demirkopru Dam, and the Kemer Dam. After the State Hydraulic Works DSI was established in 1954, projects were better funded and the hydroelectric power produced per year greatly increased. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Projects. The most recent project in Turkey is the GAP, short for Southeastern Anatolia Project, Turkish Gunidagu Anadolu Projesi. The GAP was planned by the DSI and includes the construction of 22 dams and 19 hydroelectric power plants, the cost of which is 100 billion lira, 32 billion dollars USD, 2017 adjusted price. Most of the project has been completed, with some dams and hydroelectric power plants still under construction. Theoretically, 27 billion kWh per year will be generated from the project. Currently 172 dams, hydroelectric power plants are in operation and 148 are under construction. Impacts on people and the environment There have been both positive and negative environmental effects caused by the dams and hydroelectric power plants. One of the positive effects of hydroelectric power plants has been the decrease of carbon emissions, as the production of hydroelectric energy does not emit any byproduct. Compared to thermal energy, hydroelectric energy is much more environmentally friendly because of emissions. Another positive impact has been the decrease of the importation of energy, since Turkey imports around 90% of its energy. On the other hand, the hydroelectric power plants have had a negative impact on the local fauna. A large amount of fish are killed in hydroelectric power plants because there are no fish passages, which can be improved. Nevertheless, some species have already gone extinct. Another issue is salinity of the water. The salinity of the water can cause negative effects on water quality, soil erosion, and plant growth. The salinity caused by dams has decreased the agricultural activity near dams and hydroelectric power plants as well. There has also been a great issue with increased bedrock exposure and erosion. These projects have also caused an issue of land acquisition and resettlement of people. 
The Atatürk and Karakaya project of the Gap caused the displacement of 100,000 people. Hundreds of villages have been affected by projects in Turkey to build dams and hydroelectric power plants. Some locals were given land as reparations. On the other hand, some people were admitted back to their own properties after the construction of the dams or power plants, if feasible. However, it cannot be denied that there has been disregard to ancient settlements, such of Assyrian, Greek, Armenian, and many more civilizations, such as the destruction of Hasankif. Hydroelectric potential Hydroelectric power is one of the most common sources of renewable energy in the world and it plays a vital role in Turkey's energy production as well. The theoretical viable hydroelectric potential of the country has been estimated at 433 TWh per year, nearly 1% of the total hydropower potential of the world, and the hydroelectric technical potential of Turkey is 58 TWh per year, also around 1% of the hydroelectric energy produced in the world. This is seen as promising as the estimated demand for electricity in Turkey will be 420 TWh per year by 2020, meaning that if the country utilizes all of its potential hydroelectric power, the supply would surpass demand. <laughs> Energy storage It might be that in coming years the pumped storage power plant market will also grow or start in Turkey as this could store energy produced by wind and solar power plants. Statistics <inaudible> 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 In 2015, the total installed capacity of hydropower in Turkey was 25,868 MW, and total generated energy in 2015 from hydropower was 66,903.2 GWh. <laughs> <laughs> Largest stations See also Topic External Links Sample Guidelines Cumulative Environmental Impact Assessment for Hydropower Projects in Turkey